All right, the deed is done. I know that some of you didn't uh, didn't agree with the way I did this, but you know that's great. You're not supposed to agree. I've repeatedly said in every video series I've ever done, all of you are expected to do better. This is merely the way I do it. Anyway, it's it's in good shape. Now I had to raise it up a little bit higher and solder the nut on a little bit higher than the other two, the one on the right and the one on the left. And the reason is the socket, if I put it all the way down flush with this bar right here, which is where these are, the socket would not have fit down around the nut. It would have hit the bar. Okay, see it? So now I can go ahead and just, uh, you can do the adjustments up here, away from the bar. Okay, and it works great. See how she turns, opens that trimmer cap up very nicely, closes it. You know, it's just one way of doing it. One way, people, I expect you to be independent and do your own way. That's what it's all about, you know. It'd be an awfully dull world if we all did everything the same way. I think my mother used to tell me that all the time. I recommend that before you start any alignment procedure, you know, if you're if you're rather new at it, you know, the old timers, no problem. I'm, I'm never talking to those guys because they know what they're doing anyway. But for the new folks out there who have not ever done this or not done it very much, my recommendation is that you review the alignment procedures, go through a couple of dry runs without the equipment hooked up before you actually hook everything up and do it. And uh, it'll all be here, you know, in your instructions if you've got the proper paperwork for your radio. So let's go over the one for the 145 here. Uh, this has some very short alignment procedures, probably the shortest I've ever seen. But these procedures cover different model radios as well as the 145. And we're, we're in the adjustment, uh, adjusting trimmer condenser section. Down here is the 145 and the 325. And basically what it says, I'll just kind of paraphrase it so we can get through this quickly. It says, hook up your signal generator and set it to 264 kilocycles. Well, why 264 kilocycles? Well, I'll tell you, because the intermediate frequency of this radius is 264 kilocycles. I oh, have yeah. written right there. Can't miss it. Almost all your schematics you'll ever see will have the IF uh, frequency written somewhere on it in large letters. All right, once you get it hooked up, it says keep the signal very low, just enough to what you need, and uh, hook up a, a, uh, a meter. In our case, it'll be a vacuum tube voltmeter to the output, which will be the speaker. I'm going to hook ours to the primary of the audio output transformer. Some people like to hook it all the way through to the speaker connections uh, at the 8 ohm speaker point on, on that side, the secondary of the audio output transformer. Hi, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm just going to hook mine to the primary. It'll work just fine. Now once you do that, it says to hook up your uh, signal generator, putting out the 260, which will put out, you know, I haven't put it out yet. You haven't turned it on yet. Hook up your signal generator to the first detector tube. Well, let me see. On the first detector tube, that would be the first detector oscillator, 2A7. The 2A7 tube, they want us to hook it to the control grid right here right there which comes off the oscillator local oscillator coil so we're going to be hooking that this is the 2a7 and we're going to be hooking the red lead of the signal generator right there and we're going to hook the ground lead or the black lead to the chassis someplace ground maybe right here i don't know it's all hooked to ground and then we're going to go ahead and turn it on we're going to adjust it for 264 kilocycles we're going to turn it down 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 till we get very low output and then we're going to adjust, it says to adjust the, uh, the uh, IF trimmer caps in both of these cans here. Now it will be the 5, the A5, and the A6 in this one right here, which is T4, which will be this one. Then we're going to go ahead and adjust uh, A, let me see, where is she, where is she, yeah, A7, this one right here, which will be in... Uh, T, oh, this thing's getting on. T5. There it is, right there. <laughs> getting harder to read for me. Anyway, we're going to be adjusting this trimmer, this trimmer, and this trimmer. It's kind of interesting the way they wrote it in here. They said instead of going adjusting your trimmer, you know, in order five, six, and seven, 
in the instructions they got it going uh, 7, 6, and 5. The next thing is the dial pointer adjustment. It says with the variable condenser all the way in, the dial pointer should be set at 535 kilocycles. Well, that's, that's a heck of a thing to do. That's a piece of cake, man. You just close the dial. You know, close your tuner, and your dial should be pointing right at 535 kilocycles. If it's not, you loosen up this screw, and you adjust the needle until it is. And then you tighten the screw back up. The next part is also easy. It says set up your signal generator to 15 megacycles. And then dial your radio to where it says 15 megacycles. And then peak uh, on the meter using A3. A3 is the center uh, part of the tuner. This is, they're not in order. This is 1, 3, and 2 going from the front of the radio. This is the oscillator. 1, 3, and 2. The oscillator. That's the one we made the repair on with the screw. Alright. Now what's next? The next thing it says is the police range. The police range that would be on the mega cycle side there are no trimmer adjustments for this range well that's an easy one I can do that there's nothing to do <laughs> let me move to the broadcast range this is the last step in the alignment set your oscillator or your uh, signal generator they call it an oscillator in this instruction set the signal generator for 1500 kilocycles and then set your radio for 1500 kilocycles and it says peak trimmers A8 A2 and A1 all right, A8 is this one in the front. Remember we put that new variable capacitor in there? That's A8. So we're going to be tweaking that baby here pretty soon. A2, which is this one in the rear, and then A1 in the front. A8, A2, A1. Nothing to it. The last step. The last step says... Tune your signal generator to 560 kilocycles and then <clears throat> peak out A4. A4. Where is A4? Well, I'll tell you where A4 is. A4 is on the rear, all the way to the back. It would be that adjustment right there. It is the next morning and I have things all set up. I've got my triplet signal generator set up they've everything's been warming up for about a half an hour and that's what you need to do if you have a tube outfit and you should always let your radio warm up for about a half an hour anyway get everything stabilized you know anything with tubes should warm up for quite a while to get stabilized now I have the frequency set at 0.264 megacycles which is 264 kilocycles and the first step or one of the steps says to you know set your uh, close the the tuner and set your dial to 535. Well, that was an easy one. I just went ahead and did that. Got that out of the way. So that's all taken care of. Our dial is set to 535 or thereabouts. Very, very close, okay? Now, we've got our signal generator set where we're, you know, at the frequency we want. Now we need to disconnect the signal generator and hook it to the 2A7. Remember that? And then we're going to start tweaking uh, a, a 5, 6, and 7, but I'm going to do it 7, 5, and 6. That's called for in the alignment instructions. But it really doesn't matter because I'm going to go wind up going back and forth, back and forth anyway. Anyway, I've gone ahead and hooked up the positive lead of the signal generator to the grid of the 2A7, which is what's called for. Then I hooked the ground lead over here to a ground connection. This, this can... It's connected to ground down here, so you know what's the difference? Down here, ground, up here, ground, 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 everywhere, everywhere, ground. Then it says to dial your radio into a quiet spot somewhere around a hundred, around a thousand rather kilocycles, which I have done. And then it says, uh, you know, you should be good to go. I've got my vacuum tool voltmeter warmed up, set to AC. Let's crank up the volume. See what if we get? We should get a tone, and we should get a uh, the deflection on the meter. I've got the scale set to, let's set it to 5 volts. There we go. There, okay, I've got it maxed out. I've got this maxed out. Now we need to go with a minimum signal on our signal generator. I've got this in low. I'm going to crank it down. 
let's watch this here I want to have at least some signal okay right there let's see if we can take it down to 1.5 volts we want to get as much of a scale as possible well that looks pretty good so far so let's go ahead and adjust a5 and 6 then we'll adjust 7 see if we can't peek this baby out up 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 Oh, this is good. This is great. Up, 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 up. Let's go to our 5-bolt scale. Now, keep in mind, even after you align a radio, you sometimes have to go back and de-align from what the instructions said because these radios are 60 and 70 years old. Boy, I'll tell you what, this thing's aligning good. Let's crank down our volume. Crank down our attenuator. We want to... Crank down and leave our volume where it's at. Now let's try doing the. Uh, we've about maxed that other one out. Let's crank this one up now. Same thing. Very good so far. All right. Now let's try. We never did reach a max point, but I don't want to twist them any tighter than I have to. Here we go. Okay, now this one's coming down. We need to go the other way. Up, 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 up. Oh, she's touchy. She's touchy. You'll get those kinds sometimes. I think we better leave it about right there. <clears throat> Let's go back and forth and see if I can get more milk a little bit more out of them. Okay, there we go. We hit the high point right there. Did you see that? See there? See there? All right, now we'll go to the other one. Go back the other way. There it is, the high point. Oh, no, not quite. She's wanting to go down, but I don't want to tighten it any more than I have to. That's pretty darn good. That's on the, that's on the one and a half volt scale. Okay, we just got done. That was the broadcast band. That was the already intermediate frequency coil adjustment on the broadcast band. Now it says that we're going to have to do the short wave and we're going to test it. We're going to adjust it at 15 uh, megacycles. So the first thing we have to do is go ahead and get, get to that range. Now we are now on the top range because the light bulb is lit on top. We'll go ahead and adjust this thing to 15 get that over with and then it says take your signal generator and connect it to the antenna which in our case will be the blue lead we'll go ahead and put this on a higher scale so that needle doesn't jump around now it says adjust your frequency generator your signal generator for 15 megacycles We have set this thing for 15 megacycles. I had to change the range, of course, and I have the attenuator down. I'm sitting it on medium right now. This is a low, medium, and high on this uh, on this particular signal generator. And this is the attenuator here, or the volume knob, really, is what it is. And now we'll go ahead and crank up the volume. I've got it set to 15. Let's see. we got some nice tone coming out of there. All right, that's the volume maxed out. Now it says to adjust, we're going to go down here. Let's go down to the 5 volt scale. It actually looks pretty good right now. It says to adjust A3, which is the one in the middle. Remember, 1, 3, 2. A3 is the one we worked on. It's very touchy. Here, let's get, get a little mic, microphonics there. I wonder if we're getting it, you know, getting it from everything. I think that's going to be about the maximum I'm going to get out of that thing. Yep. Go back the other way and let's let her rip. We'll just, Boy, she's touchy, touchy, touchy. This is what you got to do. Well, that's about the best I'm going to be able to get it on that range. It's pretty high. Pretty high. I can get lots of high out of there and crank down, even cranking down the, the attenuator. I've got it on low. 
we have set up for the next step which is back to the uh, broadcast band and it says set your uh, dial to 1500 kilocycles set your signal generator to 1500 kilocycles and adjust trimmers a 8, 2 and 1 you'll recall that 2 and 1 is this 1 in the front is 1 in the front and 2 in the back and then a 8 is this adjustment screw here alright let's see what I can do with uh, a1, if anything. Well, nothing's happening there. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was finally going to do something. All right, that's maxed out. Ooh, come on now, don't get touchy on me. There we go. That's about as much as I'm going to get out of that one right there. That's about it right there. Gotta play with it and play with it and play with it. Now let's go ahead and adjust A8, which is down in there. Get my screwdriver set in the screw hole. That's that new uh, capacitor we put in there. Now let's see what happens if I can peek it out a little, get a little peek here. happening at all there the next step says to set your signal generator at 560 kilocycles which I have done it says to set your dial to 560 kilocycles broadcast band which I have done and then it says to adjust a8 back here I want to turn on this light I can't hardly see anything it says to adjust a4 rather a4 which is that adjustment screw right there for a max on the meter so let's go ahead and shut this off. Let's turn up the volume. Got the volume at maximum. I have the signal at pretty low minimum. Get my screwdriver in the slot. Let's see if we can do something on this meter. Probably not. These things never did work for me. I can't figure them out. Nope, nothing's happening. Let's go down to the minimum scale. Maybe that'll help. Get my screwdriver back in here. I know this is boring watching this stuff, but this is the way it is. You know, alignments never are the exciting part of right there. You go okay, it's coming up slowly, 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 slowly. Coming up slowly. Boy, I'll tell you what, she just don't want to come up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. That's all she's going to give me right there. That's it. Maximum out. There's WSN, folks. Unfortunately, the dial needle's not accurate at all. Not much I can do about it. I've tried everything to get that thing to come in. I don't know what exactly the problem is. I may have to go through another alignment on it. see we got a few more stations here we can pick up I think it does pretty good except the dial accuracy is just not what it should be all right, I think I'll just mess with it over the next few days. I might even run it through another alignment procedure. That's a lot better than it was, though, and it is playing. I just, I just love it. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, don't forget now, next video is going to be pretty special. But it's going to take me about a week, maybe a little longer, to put it completely together. So don't lose patience. Just sit tight. You will hear from me again. Thanks for being here one more time. Until then, this is John.